the slow start defensively, according to their defensive coordinator, Dave Warnock, last week, and they're off to a similarly slow start. Here is the second best rushing attack in all of college football. The pitch going out to Jonathan Dwyer, who picks a terrific wide receiver in Demarius Thomas on this team. We expect him to run the ball off and early, and Nesbitt is wrapped up for one yard. yards on the year. Back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons for him. Here they go. There's the deep shot for Thomas. And the defender, Leon Wright, out there. Georgia Tech went three and out on its first possession. They're backed up at the six, and here's a penalty. Georgia Tech really, in the first half, especially last week against Wake, had some silly penalties that hurt him. Paul Stahl. Offense. Half the distance. Still first down. 35 points per game. They're backed up now to the three after the penalty. Dwyer in the backfield with Nesbitt. And there's the pitch to Allen. And Anthony Allen gets out to around the three yards per catch. We saw him thrown to earlier today, but they failed to connect. Nesbitt on the roll. There he goes to Thomas for the first down. Demarius catching it well under his average of 20 and has rolled along. That's their first first down of the ball game. Pitch to Roddy Jones, state of Georgia. Second and six for Tech. And another pre snap penalty. Full start. 7 0. Offense. That's the second time Joseph Gilbert, who was just. the 21. Nesbitt hanging on to it. Stopped a couple of yards shy of the first down. Coordinator, no play sheet. Didn't have that many plays. No. Another keeper for Nesbitt. Good tackle by Vinny Ray. Johnson will go for it, usually with his quarterback. They did try last week to get Wake Forest to jump off sides, and when they didn't, they called the timeout, just like right here. Josh keeps it, puts his head down, and balls into the end zone. So the huge kick return by Orwin Smith results one play later in the Nesbitt score. You wouldn't have been able to get very good odds on betting that. You would figure Georgia Tech could have run all over Duke today, but that has not been the case. Seven more yards on the ground this quarter. Personal final. Eight. Offense. Half the distance. We will have an untimed down. Long, and so Thomas says, I'm going to get my shots in, too. Well, that one cost him. Because of the offensive penalty, here's a, one more play in the quarter, and it's a big breakout run for Jonathan Dwyer. Dwyer takes it into Duke territory, stepping out at the 40, averaging 315 yards per game on the ground. Here's the second play that they've run in Duke territory today. The other was a two-yard touchdown run by Nesbitt. A great talent in this spread option, which is difficult to defend as it is, but they really bring a lot of talent. Wide receiver and Thomas, and then you have Allen and Jones to run as well. That's a great play as Nesbitt is taken down from behind by Kenny Rucker. Ruck 31-yard touchdown run last week against Wake is in there. But Nesbitt got two on a fourth and one. This time gives it to the his dive guy, Jonathan Dwyer, live at the 22. Another run to Dwyer doesn't and has really gotten a lot of non-believers to believe at the success he's had with it at Georgia Tech. Emory Peoples got the pitch that time. Nesbitt with the late pitch to right, and he goes around everybody into the end zone for the touchdown. Into ACC play, and a big weekend here at Duke. Nesbitt, a lot of time, plenty of time to find Embry Peebles. And Peebles finds a lot of running room up the sideline. Always. So a first down from the 29-yard line. The Georgia Tech offense has certainly awakened. Dwyer gets a couple on that play before the adjustments. Also ran it in high school. And a 
has become a master of it, as Ray said. And there's a masterful first down run. That's a big play coming. Third time, Tex in the red zone. They've got two touchdowns on their first two trips. Allen taken down from behind at the 11 and a half yard field along with Nesbitt. The pitch. Third and two for Georgia Tech. Dwyer gets the first down and spins down inside the three minutes to go in the half. Georgia Tech, first and goal. Dwyer or plows right, close, yes, and into the end zone. Another touchdown for Georgia Tech. Inch or two away from getting the ball back on the punt. Nesbitt back in to run the offense. He takes a deep shot to Demarius Thomas. Thomas one-on-one -on -one against Leon Wright. And the, right. the ruling on the field is reverse. The one of not Thank you. I told you. You got to end up with the football. That's the, that's the, the bottom line there. And a good job bottling up Dwyer by... Ch Nesbitt passing all the way. Here comes pressure, and down goes Nesbitt. Just getting underway, but that, that tip-off marathon is going to be crazy on all of our family of networks. Stephen Hill. It's hard to do that in the option. And that was a six-yard pass play. They don't throw a lot of six-yarders. It's usually all or nothing on the, on the passes. And there's a pitch back to... Peebles. Nesbitt on the roll, gets away from trouble and looking for Thomas on the sideline. Second and 10 from the 32. Nesbitt thrown into the end zone and it is caught. Stephen Hill grabs it and gets his foot in for the touchdown. Scored. And they have it first down from the 29-yard line. Nesbitt with the keeper gets the first down and spins down just short of Nathan's on that play. And defensive coordinators, I'm sure, have lost many hours of sleep trying to come up with a way to defend it. Here's the speed guy, Allen, gets around the thousands of people every Saturday, but that's, that's nerve-wracking when you're an actor. And he said he had a great time doing it. Nesbitt, all the time in the world to throw it to Allen who took it away from a defender and still won't go down. Finally down at the 17 map of Florida. Great get for Georgia Tech. Ball was on the ground and recovered by Dwyer for Georgia Tech, so they hang on to it. 170 pounds. Second and 10. And that looked too easy. Dwyer just popped out of there, popped into the end zone for a 12-yard touchdown run. And Dan Boss, the new... Right here, that one year. Duke hoping to get to a bowl game for the first time since 1994, but what an uphill battle they face. Come after contact. Gets it again. Goes up the middle for a couple more. Second straight year, he's over 1,000 yards. Accomplished that last week against Wake Forest. And that pass was thrown behind Roddy Jones, who turned around and could not quite come. Georgia Tech taking the ball back. Josh Nesbitt still in there, as is Jonathan Dwyer. Having to beat Miami on the road and then beat Wake Forest to get to a bowl game. Tall task, here's Anthony Allen. On this upgrade, had four last year from where this program had been. Kept Cliff doing a remarkable job with this program. Nesbitt, Rodriguez there, a lot of disgruntled Michigan fans after a fast start this season. Flag down. Oh, and the ball was down, but Allen was able to get on top of it for... Have an illegal chop block. 70. Offense. 10 yards. Came against Wake Forest. There you see the, the penalties. Tech had a lot of early bad penalties last week. The Marius Thomas gets it! Thomas, another long pass play, scores for Georgia Tech. A terrific game against Duke last year, throwing for over 200 yards when Nesbitt was hurt and couldn't play in that game. 
Georgia Tech has won five straight in this series, about to make it six in a row. We anticipate them keeping it on the ground. They do right there with the pitch to Marcus Wright eons ago. Georgia Tech has really got it rolling on offense. Their second string quarterback is in. And Shaw rolls, gets the first down, and goes out of bounds 195 yards through the air for Nesbitt. Pitch to the other side to Peebles. And Embry Peebles gets another friend. They're a hard team to beat. I don't think anybody would want to play him. That didn't work. Shaw hung on to it and got hung. Lost team certainly is Georgia Tech. Good fake on the dive and then the pitch to Wright. And Marcus Wright takes it all the way down. Here we've got a big 42 to 10 lead for Georgia Tech. Preston Lyons with another carry. Playing Tampa on December 5th. I'm, I'm going with that. Yep. That is where the ACC championship game will be played. Marcus Wright gets another pitch. Quite pleased with that class coming in. On third and eight. Shaw gets out of trouble and runs for another first down. And the rush yards, Duke in the, in the hole, minus 20. There's a fumble on the exchange. Shaw gets up on it. Recovers it. He's trying to get the ball into Preston Lyons. And that was just a problem with the match between Shaw and Lyons. Playing the ACC championship game in Tampa on December 5th. Jay Bo Shaw, the second string quarterback, still in there, picks up a yard. So that is the only college job that he wants to have, and he's done a terrific job. They're off to a great start. An opportunity to beat Notre Dame tonight. Trying to hang on to beat the Spartans today. Fun game going on there. This is a fun game if you're a Georgia Tech fan. A lot of second stringers in there. Good completion to Daniel McCahan. First time we've seen. And the pitch to Embry Peebles. Peebles, big time running room, wrestled down. But not today. Richard Watson, another back in for Tech. Well, this is Marcus Wright, the fast guy. Shows his speed. You look at the, the way things were prior to him coming in, and he already has nine wins and just, uh, uh, you know, basically two seasons as a cup. This is the fattest, softest football team I have ever seen. <laughs> and he was serious. Georgia Tech serious. Richard Watson's turn to find the end zone.